Hi guys, so today I have some empties for you. I've got this big old bag of stuff that I've used up over the last few months, so let's get into it. First of all, I have these Aveeno Ultra Calming Makeup Removing Wipes. I absolutely love these things. They were super, super moisturizing. They definitely left behind a very lotion-y kind of feel, but still got the job done as far as makeup removing is concerned. They were definitely very good at removing makeup without being stingy. Some makeup wipes that I've come across, some that are in this bag that I will feature later, have definitely irritated my eyes and made them feel kind of red, and I didn't feel like they were really, truly good for removing makeup. Like, they just didn't seem to get the job done as well. These things definitely work super well. I will probably repurchase these. I love trying new makeup removing wipes, so I do have a few different brands right now that I am using, but once I figure out that nothing else is working quite as well, I will definitely go back to these because they were awesome. So that other brand that I did not like as much is this Neutrogena, let's see, they are oil-free cleansing wipes in the pink grapefruit scent. They are very, very strongly scented. Anytime I use them over at my boyfriend Justin's house to remove my makeup, he like had to sit on the other side of the room while I used the wipes because they were so strongly scented. He really did not like the scent. These were definitely very stingy on the eye area or any other sensitive areas. Did not like these, will not repurchase these ones. Next I've got some toothpaste. This is the Sensodyne Extra Whitening Toothpaste. I usually use Crest, but for some reason I decided I would go and try this, and I actually really enjoyed it. I've gone back to using Crest lately, and I feel like my teeth are like extra sensitive. I didn't even buy this because I typically have sensitive teeth, but since I quit using it, I feel like they're more sensitive. I don't know... I don't know what that's about, but I really did enjoy this stuff, and I probably will go back to this after I'm done with my Crest. Next I have the Olay Professional Pro X Exfoliating Renewal Cleanser, and this stuff came with the cleansing brush, and I will have a review up relatively soon. I've had it for almost a month now, and I did want to wait until I'd had it for quite a while before I did a full-on review of it. This stuff is very moisturizing. It doesn't make your skin feel tight or anything, and they, the exfoliants in there are very tiny and very fine. They don't irritate at all. I really did like this. Next I have a Yes to Carrots Nourishing Exfoliating Cleanser. This one has little pieces of bamboo in there that are exfoliating. I do like it. It's pretty moisturizing. It has a very creamy kind of texture to it. Didn't leave my skin tight or anything. But it has been quite a while. I, I was using this a lot over like the spring and summertime and then I just had a little tiny bit and I never got around to using that last little bit until just now. So this one I can't really give a good good review because it has been quite a while since I did use it but apparently I didn't like it enough to continue using it, so that's that one. Next, I've got some gummy vitamins. These are the Vitafusion B Complex Energy Gummy Vitamins for Adults. They were in strawberry flavor. I love strawberry flavor, so these were super awesome, very good, yummy vitamins. Next is a deodorant. This one here is the Dove Go Sleeveless in the Scent Shea Butter. And I really did enjoy this stuff. I used to use Secret. I still have a little bit left of this one over here. This stuff definitely lasts way longer. You can still smell it on yourself so you know that it's still working for hours and hours and hours longer than the Secret stuff. I will not be going back to Secret. I love this Dove stuff. I am actually using the Dove Clear Tone Skin Renew right now. I'm definitely more of a Dove fan since I have tried it. For some hair care, this is the Garnier Fructis Triple Nutrition 3 Minute Undo Dryness Reversal Treatment. So this is like a deep conditioner kind of deal. It was okay. It does have little like beads of, I don't even know what is in there, like, I don't even know, <laughs> I don't know what it is. But there's little like beads of stuff and you can feel it in your hair when you apply it and it, it's kind of different. I mean, it was okay, but it wasn't anything crazy awesome. It was just a nice deep conditioner. Sometimes I, I move between using deep conditioners as my regular conditioners, and then I go back to regular conditioners. And I haven't really come across a deep conditioner that's really been super awesome or any better than any regular conditioner. So if you have any recommendations for any really nice deep conditioners, let me know down in the comment section below. This one is a shampoo, Suave Professionals Almond and Shea Butter Moisturizing Shampoo. I am currently using the conditioner. I still have plenty of the conditioner left, and I really do like that one. This one, I like the smell of it. It has a really nice kind of shea butter kind of smell. 
I don't like super strong scented things in the shower because I do have kind of a scent sensitivity sometimes. This was okay. I mean, it was cheap. It was like five bucks for the two of them or something at Target. And I did like them, but I don't think I'll be repurchasing. I like to switch up my shampoos and conditioners and stuff like that just until I figure out what I really, really, truly love. Next, I have the John Frieda Full Repair Shampoo and Conditioner, the Full Body Shampoo and Conditioner, and I really did enjoy these. I only had little travel size ones, as you can see, so I didn't get, like, a ton of use out of them, but for the short amount of time that I had them and I was using them, I really did like them. They smell familiar to me, but I can't quite put my finger on it. I didn't find that they were particularly volumizing or made my hair any more full of body or anything like that, like they claim to do, but I did enjoy them. Now moving on to makeup. This is a Benefit Their Real little mini size mascara and I did like this stuff but I don't think it's as crazy awesome as a lot of people make it out to be. I came across Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara a couple months after I had gotten this one and I really was much more impressed with the Too Faced one than with this Benefit. And lastly, my holy grail, favorite, favorite product ever, ever in the whole wide world. This is the Milani Multitasking Face Powder. It is totally, totally gone. I have repurchased this like three times or something. I definitely love this stuff. But I am currently using the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder because I've heard so many good reviews about it. And it's only like three bucks or something. This one is like maybe six or so maybe seven dollars at Walmart but I have been really liking the stay matte one but this was definitely my favorite favorite for a long 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 time and if I end up not liking stay matte I will definitely go back to it so those are all of my empties from the past few months I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up let me know down in the comments if you tried any of these products and what you think about them what are your favorite things that you've used up and repurchased over and over so I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you really soon bye really nicely. I don't look shiny at all. I look, I still look really good, really matte. My skin looks good. I just don't know about the color still. I was even, I was even asking some girls at work what they thought about it, if it was too pinky, and they were like, it's not too pinky, but it's just kind of off, and they suggested that I don't 